Assalamualaikum everybody. Uh, this is the part two of the Learn Arabic in an easy way. Dal Nimul Arabia bi Tarikatin Suhulatin. In this uh, part two, we'll take a more look at the meaning of the letter Sin. Now, I have told you before that the letter Sin has a meaning of to move on. And this is because the letter scene looks like uh, water flow, right? So Sara I would mean to move on. And you can see that scene uh, is indicating the going on. And then the Ra is uh, showing the movement of from one point to the other. And the Ya is the two dots, the first uh, starting point and the ending point. And Sala would mean similar uh, to the move on, but to flow. In, in this case, it's like a lengthwise. Uh, because of the lamb, the straight uh, alif like thing of the lamb uh, is indicating the movement is uh, uh, going forward and uh, lengthwise and also clinging. Cling, lamb has the meaning of to cling, so when things follow, they cling onto the surface. And ra would mean a movement uh, some quite some distance. So as you know, on the earth surface, uh, if you go from one place to another, uh, the distance, because the distance, uh, it, the uh, going becomes carved. Sadda means uh, to block, and in this case, you see the scene dal dal. Uh, scene looks like flow of water, and dals look like blocking, blocking it. Now, in similar way, uh, you can see in saba. Saba means to flow in a stream. Uh, here, like uh, just like sala, but uh, because uh, there is no lam here, there is ba here, and ba is indicating a ba like uh, uh, a trench or a stream, uh, which is indicating the white. And also the ba uh, shows the linking between the two points. Uh, baina, baina means in between. Uh, and the lam uh, is indicating it's going in the lengthwise. So uh, you see in this word sabil, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's shown that there is these two points uh, are indicated from here. Uh, with the two dots of the ba, two dots of the ya. And then the scene is sara and b is in a ba like trench. And the lam is lengthwise movement. All right, so sabil means a way. Now, this happens when the scene is the first letter, because in Arabic, as you know, uh, the most important thing is brought forward. So because going uh, like in a flow or a natural movement is indicated by the scene. Now, if the scene is the last letter, though, then this sara meaning would change. And it can mean, in this case, uh, uh, to reverse. Akasa. Akasa means to reverse, going in the opposite direction. Huh? And if the scene is the middle letter, then not uh, meaning going forward or backward. So the sara means going in the forward direction, right? And akasa means going in the backward direction, to reverse. And masaka would mean not to go either forward or backward, but in the same place. Huh? But see, the idea of to hold uh, in, implied in this is movement, right? So uh, you can see the scene is necessary. Okay, so I'll, I'll soon uh, explain to you uh, why uh, this is the case, why the scene is necessary, and why it would mean something to hold. So in this video, uh, we are going to take a look at uh, the situation when the scene is the middle letter. Uh, and uh, as you can see in Masaka, it's uh, like holding, huh? we are holding it. Um, uh, and not going forward or backward. So mean is the mean is the object, uh, the maf'ul, and sin is sara, and and kaf means hunaka or at a distance. And you notice uh, the kaf when it is the third letter, the small kaf is sin huh, inside the bigger kaf, uh, and which indicate at a distance because when you go some distance uh, but is visible from you the less distance, then you can see the things getting smaller. So this is the small kaf, and which is uh, the meaning is hunaka. So you, you can you know that huna means here and hunaka means there. So see just the addition of the kaf. The letter kaf means there. So that means at a distance, huh? they are there. So masaka, huh? so masaka means ma. Ma means uh, not. Huh? So not. Uh, ma, one meaning of the ma is not. So uh, the ma, sara, maf'ul, masa, hunaka. See, you can just uh, read it as abbreviation. Okay. Rasa means to anchor. Here you see ra, sin, wa. So ra is here indicating going from one place to another. You see here sin is the middle letter. And this would mean again to hold, to not to go, right? And then the wa 
is indicating that uh, it was moving. Wa has the meaning of something missing, I've told you. And in this case, uh, the movement is missing. Huh? Uh, and movement is inactive when the action is complete, right? So this wa would mean before it was moving, but when it's anchored, it's not moving. Amazing, actually, uh, the divine language. Uh, it has so many meanings, and meanings become extremely clear uh, if you think in terms of this kind of single letter meaning and the visual representation of the meaning. All right. So if a few more meanings related to this, kasaba means to gain, and uh, here you notice kaf means uh, grow, growing bigger, right? So see, when the kaf is the first letter, it means grows bigger, and when it's the last letter, it grows smaller, as in, you see in hunaka, because something at a distance grows smaller. Huh? So kasaba means to gain, grows bigger, seen is uh, here mustawa or level, uh, but but it's related to Sara, there's something coming to you uh, as you gain something. Uh, and Yaksibu, you see, okay, I'll explain this to you. So last one, notice this. So this picture shows that the calf, uh, it grows, but grows at a 90 degree angle, right? Exactly like the calf. And in a bar-like container, bar-like container, the level uh, of the, say, water or whatever is coming to you is growing. Uh. Similarly, Hasira means to lose. But here, you see Ha, you can think of this as uh, uh, taking a bite or a portion uh, out uh, of the Rakmun or the total number. Ra is uh, always represented as a, a carved thing. And seen is the level. So it's difficult to imagine like this, but you can imagine like a, a whole thing uh, and from this you cut out a portion to hasira and hala means to take off from the level mustawa a certain number rakmun hasira now you you notice um, that in in the uh, present tense say setaksibu means uh, you gain right and kasapta means you gained in the past tense so the ta if it is the first letter then uh, it would mean uh, present tense huh? you are you gain or you gaining or you will gain that all, all this meaning is there and kasapta uh, means you gained. The uh, action is complete because here the subject is after the verb. So if the subject is before the verb, then uh, it is present tense. And after the verb, it means past tense. So you see uh, another difference is that uh, the, in the present tense, when the action is not complete, and then you have taksibu, the, the kasra is indicating that the mustawa, the level was lower, but when you have gained it and the action is complete, then the level is up with a fatha. Amazing, actually. And uh, similarly, you can see that uh, this uh, ta, you know, the, when the dots are up, it means you, but when the dots are down, it means something, somebody he, you cannot see, such as he, huh? yaksibu. And kasaba is the uh, uh, normal, uh, the uh, trilateral root form. Huh? Okay, uh, with the, on the opposite side, similarly, yaksiru and hasira, you see here, uh, the, the, you are losing, so see the level, uh, you know, before the khala, or take up the level, mustawa, the, it was high, right? And, uh, yeah, and then yaksiru, right, in the, in before the completion, that is in the present tense. But in the past tense, when the action is complete, then your level is down, hasira. And similarly, you can see uh, yaksaru and hasira. So usually, this is why you, you have to learn this uh, together, and then you will get the complete idea uh, about the uh, meaning that is hidden in this fatha, kasra, and all of these things in the divine language. All right, now you can see, uh, similarly, if we just uh, apply this, this is just a test case for you. See, the rasaba means to fail. Here, rakmun, mustawa, and bata. So uh, here you see the ra is below the mustawa. You can see the rakmun, the number you get, say, in an exam, bata, you get, uh, is below the mustawa, the level. Huh? And uh, here, sumu means here uh, this uh, level uh, is uh, worked upon by, say, teacher, or you have to set certain level, and then you judge accordingly. Huh? So rasaba would mean to fail, uh, say, say, in an exam. But fashila, would, which also means fail, would mean, say, failing to achieve an objective. All right. Then basuta means to be simple. Huh? How? Ba is without, and sin is uh, level, and toa is high. So something without a very high level means it's, it's to be simple. Huh? Basit means simple. Uh, so, yeah, after the scene in basit would mean comparison between two things. And basata, not that basuta means to be simple, right? Yeah, absolutely. But basata it means to extend. Huh? 
uh, here you extend because in a bar like container the level you add but not very much huh? so and also here see the twa is important because uh, to extend in arabic has many many uh, words so but basata uh, like as in the quran uh, it means uh, to extend beyond what is normal uh, uh, the twa is indicating the normal or uh, the correct uh, level. Huh? So to extend beyond that would mean uh, basata. Similarly, uh, this level meaning actually is very, very deep and very high uh, kind of meaning is out there. And you can see to calculate means hasaba yasubu. And so this, uh, this actually to calculate it means hamala. This ha means hamala to carry or an input and ba is bata to get or an output. And sin is the central processing unit of the computer. So uh, hasaba would mean to compute or to calculate. Huh? And so this uh, this, this level meaning is also applicable to a, like a horizontal line where you compare the level between two things. Say in Nisbun, a ratio, and Kasserun, fraction, Bastun, numerator, and Kosimun, denominator. Uh, uh, this is also a picture, remember? So see here, the horizontal line or the, the fact that you're comparing between two things, between two horizontal lines is, is shown by the scene in on these letters, all these words. And then the, here the noon and the ba is indicating the two, uh, one is above, one is below. Huh? And the ratio uh, is indicated by the noon. noon. One meaning of the noon is uh, result, najahun, huh? or to be successful huh? in something. So uh, nisbun means a ratio, kasrun means a fraction. Here, and the calf is above, see, and Ra is below. So it is indicating a fraction, a Rakmun, uh, which has something above and something below. So as you know, it, it, the fraction is written as something above and below, right? And Bastun means numerator because you see Ba, here uh, the Ba means without, right? And, and it is not the main, most, most, most important thing is the Twa, which is above. Huh? So it is indicating that uh, it's uh, uh, between two things, uh, a, 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 and the, in the above part. And then the op, on the opposite, cosimun means the denominator, and you can you can see the meme uh, is going down. So it is indicating the denominator. So it's actually amazing if you think about it. Now, if you, if you look at it, uh, the longer you look at it, the longer, uh, the better you will uh, be at understanding this kind of visual meaning. Okay, so here is, uh, please uh, try to see all of this uh, as I have explained in this video. You can pause the video here and try to uh, see the meaning and see uh, many of the things would be similar. For example, Basuta, Basta and Bastan. So this uh, you have to understand because uh, in modern standard Arabic, where we read Arabic, uh, it will be written like this without fat, Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma, right? So you have to practice this as well. And there's no problem. If you know the single letter meaning, you can easily understand all the meanings in here. All right, so you you already know uh, that uh, I have been producing these videos and I think this is the divine language, uh, the Arabic. It's not a man-made language uh, because uh, the uh, uh, ease with which you can learn this uh, is the fact that everything Allah SWT created, all objects, concepts, and everything uh, has to conform to the shape of these divine letters because this is how he created the universe. And so if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe, leave a like, and make a comment and share. And uh, if you want more information, you can see I have published a few books in, with Google Books and all the links and things are, um, are given below. So uh, inshallah, I will be seeing you next time with uh, newer videos. And until that time, Allah Hafiz.